Okay, we are looking at the Territory Wide System Assessment or TSA, Territory Wide System Assessment for 2018, Secondary 3 English Language Reading. Now we're going to jump to the poetry part, which is on page 7. I'll read it to you and then we'll go through the answers together, okay? You are going to visit the Hong Kong Museum and do a report on dinosaurs. Your English teacher has given you a poem to help you get started. Read the poem and answer the questions. I tried to find a dinosaur. I tried to find a dinosaur. I started in my yard. Now the word yard we don't have in Hong Kong much, but basically it's a way to say garden, okay, yard. So that's like, like the school yard is the school playground and SBC and the home yard is the garden. I started in my yard. I dug and dug for days and days. Dug is the past tense of dig. Today I dig, yesterday I dug. I dug for days and days. The work was long and hard. Hard here rhymes with yard. Stanza 2 or verse 2. I dug through dirt and mud and muck. So muck is just another way to say the dirty things. If something is very dirty, it's very mucky. M-U-C-K-Y, mucky. So, I dug through dirt and mud and muck. I dug through rocks and soil. My arms grew sore, my legs grew weak from all the sweat and toil. Toil is a difficult word for Hong Kong students. It basically means hard work. Okay, When you work hard, you sweat, and all the hard work is the toil. Toil rhymes with soil. I shoveled tons of gravel out. Gravel means lots of small stones, okay? And here, if you look at the picture, he is using a shovel, okay? This one right here, in case you can't see it. So, I shoveled tons of gravel out. He's moved lots of dirt. I moved a bunch of stones until, at last, to my surprise, I found some fossil bones. Fossil is here. These are the old dinosaur things here, okay? So I just want to Google image you the word shovel just to make sure you understand. S-H-O-V-E-L. There you go. There's shovel and then fossil. F-O-S-S-I-L. Huh? I don't know why it's on that. Uh, fossil bones. There you go. That's fossil dinosaurs, okay? Not fossil watches. Let's go back to the poem. I put the bones together in my bedroom on the floor. When I was done, those bones had formed a half a dinosaur. So the word floor is rhyming with saw, dinosaur. My parents weren't too happy when I, found, I told them of my goal. My goal is something that you want to do. When you play football, you score a goal because that's what you want to do. You want to kick the ball in the goal. And in life, your goal is your target. I found a half a dinosaur, but then they found the hole. Okay, so the questions. Uh, let's try and get it over. Let's pause this. Okay, here are the questions. Stanza one, which means this part here, the first part is the stanza, okay? Stanza one, the poet is trying to find a dinosaur. This means he's trying to find A, rocks, B, soil, Soil is the mud. C, a skeleton. And the skeleton means the bones. Let's Google this one again. Skeleton. There you go. That is a skeleton, the bones, okay? C, a skeleton. Or D, a live animal. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is he's trying to find... Actually, hold on. Let's, yeah, that's right. He's trying to find a dinosaur, so he's trying to find the skeleton, okay? Because dinosaurs are all dead. They're all dead, so they are skeleton. Part two. The rhyming words in the first stanza are. Okay, so which words rhyme? That means they have the same sound. Read them together. A, dinosaur and yard. Is there any rhyming there? Dinosaur and yard. B, yard and hard. Yard and hard. C, days and days. Well, that's actually the same word, isn't it? Days and days. And D, dug and dug. Well, rhyming is words with the same sound, but not exactly the same sound. So days and days and dug and dug cannot be correct. So your answer here is B, yard and hard. Okay. 
One and two. In stanza one, the poet writes, the work was long and hard. The words that show this in stanza two are. So we want words that mean long and hard. Okay. A. Does dirt and mud mean long and hard? Rocks and soil. Sweat and toil and arms and grew. What is the answer, students? Long and hard is the same as C, sweat and toil, okay? Because when you sweat, sorry, when you work hard, you sweat and toil again means the hard work. Question four. The words that describe the work the boy did are, okay, let's say words that describe the work. Dug, shoveled and gravel. Well, gravel is not the work. Gravel are the stones. Sweat, moved and stones. Toil, found and bones and then shoveled, dug, and moved. I think this is actually quite a hard question for you guys, you students, but which one do you think is the answer? The words that describe the work the boy did are, okay, so A, B, C, or D, what do you think? The answer here is D, okay, because these are the things he did. He shoveled, he dug up the soil, and he moved it, okay? Gravel cannot be the work, because gravel is, and stones are things, and bones are things. So that's not the work. So your answer is D. Shoveled, dug, and moved. Question five. The boy actually found what? A. Lots of different dinosaurs. Did he find bones on the floor of his bedroom? C. An incomplete dinosaur. Or D. A bunch of stones. It's important here to know that the word incomplete means not finished. He didn't find 100% a dinosaur you found maybe 50%, okay? So what did he find? Well, the answer here is C. He found an incomplete dinosaur, and we can check by going back to here. Do, 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 do. When I was done, these bones had formed a half a dinosaur. It means not complete. And then his goal, he found half, and he wanted to find maybe the other half later, yeah? Question six. In stanza five, the word that rhymes with goal is. So what word rhymes with goal? A, half, B, when, C, found, or D, whole. What's the answer? Correct. Whole and goal. Seven. In the poem, the boy wants to find a dinosaur because he what? A, he was asked to by his parents. B, he's interested in dinosaurs. C, he wants to be infamous. This word infamous, basically infamous means the same as famous. But usually infamous is a bit negative. Famous is very positive and infamous is negative. Or D, he's bored at home. Well, let's have a look. Let's go back to the poem and check. So, du -du 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 -du. I tried to find a dinosaur. Well, there's the answer straight away. The title here, I tried to find a dinosaur. So, why? Okay, well, why? Let's have a look. Du, 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 du. Doesn't really say why. So now we have to try and think a bit harder now, okay? It says that that's what he wants to do, but it doesn't really say why. His parents did not ask him. Interested in dinosaurs? Maybe. He wants to be infamous? Doesn't say that. Does it ever say he's bored at home? Mm, no, it doesn't say anything like that. So I would say the answer here is that he's interested in dinosaurs. Okay? Tricky question, that one. Number eight. The poem is called I Tried to Find a Dinosaur. It could also be called what? A. I made my parents angry. B. I found some bones. <clears throat> C. My yard now has a hole. Or D. All of the above. Hmm. So interesting question. A. I made my parents angry. Is it true or false? Let's go back. Here's a poem. My parents weren't too happy when. So they're not too happy. And again, if you look at the image, you can see that they look a bit angry, right? So that's true. B, I found some bones. Well, yes, he did. You can see the bones here. And here are the words, I put the bones, bones. So he found the bones. My yard now has a hole. And I think if we look at this one, yeah, they found the hole. So there's a hole. So your answer here, number eight, 
all of the above. So that is the poetry part. And again, we talked about this in the other video, but we'll talk about it here. The word alliteration, which if you, although it's not mentioned in this one, is still important. Alliteration is the repeating sound. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. So, n, 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 alliteration. Okay. And that would be the main part of the poem here. So, good luck with your TSA students, and we'll see you real soon.